Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get Forge mods for Minecraft Java in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do here is simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but simply go to your search box and search up Modrinth. Now, why Modrinth? Well, Modrinth is a website with a bunch of modifications for the Minecraft game, as well as mods. So. It is perfect for today's video. So simply go on modrins.com right here, click on the link, and you should be sent to the Modrins homepage. Simply go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to mods. Once you've done this, simply scroll down a tiny bit, select Forge, and here you'll see all the Forge compatible mods with Modrins. So here we can see a list of mods that you can download, and there is quite a few of them. Here we can see 771 pages of these. So, for this example, I will use Exeros Minimap because it works with Forge. So, once you found your mod, simply click on the name of the mod and here you make sure that it is available for your version. If it is, simply go to versions and you'll be able to find the platform Forge with the game version that you want. So, once you've found the Forge version, if you can't find it for your specific mod and it says it's for Forge, simply do Platform and Forge right here. And then you'll find Forge mod specifically. So, once you've selected your game version and your platform, I'll just select the top one, simply click the green download button, and now you're gonna have your Forge mod automatically download to your device. Here we can see we have Xeros Minimap, that works for Forge. Also. What you want to do here is simply go on the name of the version that you just downloaded and you need to make sure that you don't have any dependencies which are required. These are optional. If you have any required dependencies, make sure to download these as well or else your mod will not work. But here, if it's only optional, you can download it if you want, it gives more functionality of the mod, but you don't need it. So once you have everything you need here, you need to have Forge. And to get Forge, you simply need to open up a new link and simply search up Forge Minecraft. So do Forge Minecraft, like so. So once you've done this, you see Forge files. You want to find files minecraftforge.net. And once you click this, it will send you to this page. Now, it is for 1.20.6 by default, but what you can do is simply Go to the Minecraft version list, click 1.21, and you can have the latest versions here as well. If you're going to use an older version, you can do the same thing for older versions as well. So I'll just select the same version that I selected for my mod. Here we can see I selected 1.21.4. Well, I will have to get 1.21.4 Forge. So simply click a matching version. And once you've done this, it will get bolded here. It'll say download for Minecraft Forge MC 1.2.4 and just do installer. Click the installer button and it's gonna bring you to this little page where there can be some ads and you're gonna have a little timer here that's around five seconds or so. You're gonna have a skip button, click that. And here you can see it has downloaded Forge right here. So now we have Forge and a mod. So what you have to do now is simply close our web browser because we won't be using it anymore and you can now open up your downloads folder. Here you have to open up your downloads folder by going to your file explorer and going to downloads. Once you've done this you should see your mods here including the forge installer and if you don't see anything here it is just because you have a different destination for your specific web browser's downloads. So, I do have one more thing to say, if you have here a jar file and you don't have any icon here, now you can run mods, but you can't run the installer. So what you have to do here is just go in the description, I will have a java download link and a tutorial also made, just so you can actually run the installer for Forge. But if you do see an icon here for java, you should be completely fine. So simply double click the Forge installer. Here it'll tell you, okay, install client, server, offline installer. 
just make sure to have install client make sure that this is indeed the right version if it is just do ok and there you go now that i have downloaded the installer simply do ok and what you can do now is simply go to your minecraft folder by going to the minecraft launcher this is how you launch minecraft java so here we can see we have forge 1.1.4 and what you want to do here is put your forge mod into your dot minecraft folder and the way you do this is simply by going to installations and going to the little folder icon that shows up when you hover over a version once you've done this you have to put it in the mods folder for java now if you don't see a mods folder like in my case you have to make one and there's two ways of making one you can either launch the game once or you can simply right click click new folder and call it mods like so and now you have a mods folder there's two ways of doing it so just pick the one that you want that one's the quickest so once you have your mods folder simply double click it now go to downloads and select your mod or mods and click copy go back to your previous folder using the top left arrow and click paste now what you want to do is simply go back to the minecraft launcher go to play make sure forge is selected and click play and now forge is gonna automatically turn on and the game should open shortly with your mod in the game so let's just wait for that So here we have Forge, and here we can clearly see we have Forge, Beta, this is the latest version, no problem. And if we go to Mods, we can see Xero's minimap, so this means the mod works. And you might not have the mod that shows up, and it can also work as well, this is in the case of Optifine. But here we can see a mod, and all you want to do here is simply do Done, and you can now use your mod in a single player world, multiplayer servers and realms so i'll just go to a single player world to show you the mod working and that will be how we get mods for forge so we can see on the top left that we indeed have a mini map this is the mod i have downloaded and it works as intended so yeah that's how we get mods for forge on minecraft java in 2025 so if you liked today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!